try to go through some of this stuff on this template that's giving you all, or a couple of you all, some problems. A lot of you all do fine. Um, here's my shape up here that I put in here, and I've tried to arrange it so you can see this Pathfinder palette that you want to get up, and this is what you work out of, and this is, in fact, uh, available for you under Window. Um, yeah, here I'm in Window, and you can see that, or at least part of that, and you can see down there where it's selected right here. That means that this little palette is up, and that's where the palette is. So some of you all may be having trouble here. Someone asked about the expand feature. There that is, although I'm not sure what we need the expand feature for in this. But anyway, um, this all works pretty straightforward. And as a matter of fact, you can do this from your effects menu if you want, not even open up your palette. But for the rest of them, you really do need this palette up. So here we are. We've got, uh, and just for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and use my paste function and fill in these other two boxes as well. These seem to be the ones that give everybody trouble. Um, this one right here, the instructions say this has to be a Pathfinder mode, and that would be in this bottom area down here, and then the, the uh, divide. So um, I'm guessing that this is it. It's Pathfinder mode. Here's divide. When I click on that, and you notice they're, they're uh, joined, uh, this object and this object, you can do that by just double clicking on, or clicking on one, holding down your shift key, clicking on the other, or you can, an easy way is once you've got them selected is go up to object on your menu bar across the top and go to a group, which is what I've done. Anyway, back to this. So I'm supposed to go up to Pathfinder, uh, Mode, and Divide, and that's what this tells me that is. So when I hit that, now nothing's going to happen. I can move these, but they're still connected. So to see what has just happened, it also tells you you need to go in and uh, ungroup that. So I'm going back up to object, you can't see that, and go to ungroup, and then I'll deselect there, but now I ought to be able to move those two apart, and that's more like what you want in this exercise. Same is true here, we'll do that as well. This is uh, going to Pathfinder mode trim, here's my path, Pathfinder, blah, blah. here's the trim, so I click that, and that ought to happen. Uh, then I have to again go up here and do an ungroup, and then come back here, and now I ought to be able to move that that way, and that that way, and we have a, a change on that one as well. It, some of those areas were trimmed off. Okay, and then on this one, um, it says to make this work, and this is a little bit of a discrepancy, it says that they have to be the same color. Now when they do that, you're going to merge those shapes, and it's going to look like something like this, which is not what they give you the, in the example. So some of you all may be stumbling on that, I don't know. But anyway, here we are. I'm at this particular shape. I'm going to go up to, um, I've got to ungroup it first so I can change that color. And when I do that, I ought to be able to hit this. And then by taking my dropper tool, click that, and now I've changed them both to the same thing. Just to give us a little variety, I chose the black instead of going to the uh, other. And now, going back and selecting both of those, this time I held down the shift key. I'm going to go up here, and the instructions are to go to Pathfinder Merge. That would be this one. Uh, now, some of you all tell me that you have a little trouble when you run your selector over things like this, especially over in like the toolbar because you're not getting it. You have to hold that uh, mouse button down and stay there a minute for that to come up. Okay, that's just a little help. Anyway, we're at this. Uh, and you can see what happened. It merged, and uh, well, I don't know if it merged or not. Let's see. I don't know if I clicked that. There. Now it's merged, and it's one shape, which is different than what the example gives you. So some of you all may be having trouble on that as well. Anyway, uh, that's just to get you guys uh, past the heavy parts or some of the parts that might be stumblers, and there are quite a few in this lesson. I think this has changed in, in the new version that will come out in the next session. But anyway, thanks for your patience, and uh, good luck to you.